Community advocacy is one of the prominent ways to help in the rehabilitation of primary health care centers in Nigeria. This is as some health networks and community-based organizations discuss on the factors affecting the development of these primary health care centers. Our correspondent, Mudukwe Oluwa Shoremekun Ugunjobi, tells us more. Primary health care centers, PSCs, have suffered huge setbacks if compared to global standards. This ranges from high cost of treatment, inadequate equipment and staffing. The repeated call for government's funding seems to fall on deaf ears as there has not been a substantial improvement lately. However, community members and community-based organizations through the intervention have taken up the responsibility to simply provide some affordable equipment for some PSCs in Lagos. We have to start talking to the community, let the community understand. I think that's one of the things we are doing now. Community to understand that they can own these activities. They can, those primary health centers belong to them. They are the major beneficiary. They are the one that goes to those primary health centers. So they have, res they, they have that responsibility to, to, to know what is going on in the primary health center. They sh they, from time to time, they should go there, ask questions about what is going on. We encourage religious leaders to invest in primary health care as they have the power to influence and mobilize communities towards positive change. Community involvement is crucial in ensuring the sustainability and effectiveness of these centers. Additionally, community support can manifest through volunteering, donating resources, or participating in advocacy efforts to secure increased funding. While engaging some of the community-based organizations, a findings show that there is need for community advocacy for PSCs to get the needed rehabilitation, else the expected improvement may not come if all is rested on the shoulders of the federal government. Modupo Luwa Shure Meko Gujabi, Silverbread News 24, Lagos.